Okay, so a question was um, on the discussions asking about the oxidation numbers, the O, N, or oxidation numbers of everything in this compound, ZrNO3, 2. Um, I would name this a zirconium 2 nitrate, but we kind of we have to go back to nomenclature rules as to why that is. Each nitrate is NO3 negative, and there's two of them, right? That's what this little two outside the parentheses tells us. Then we have zirconium. So the question is, what must the charge of zirconium be to cancel out these two negatives? Well, it must be two positive. So its oxidation number right off the bat is going to be positive two following the oxidation rules. Then we look at these nitrates. Now, we could say, hey, each nitrate's negative one. And if you're breaking it down and you have the same oxidation numbers on both sides, you're looking at um, a reaction, you could do that. However, the question asks for the oxidation number of each element. So we need to know that of nitrogen and oxygen. So now we're just going to break this down and look at NO3. Well, nitrate is a nitrogen and three oxygens. And according to the rules, um, every single element in here, the oxidation number of each element in here must add up to equal the overall charge. The overall charge of this is negative one. All right, so now we know that nitrogen plus three oxygens must equal negative one. Well, the great thing is we also know oxygen is negative two according to the rules. And now with a little bit of algebra, this gives us N plus negative six equals negative one. And we'll find out that nitrogen, if you add uh, six to both sides, nitrogen equals positive five. In other words, the oxidation number of every single thing in here, the, um, the zirconium, let's do it this way. The zirconium is plus two because that's its charge. The nitrogen is plus five because we figured it out from the nitrate and the oxygen is negative two. Now you could have done a much more difficult way of going around here and that would have been to take um, zirconium plus two nitrogens plus six oxygens all adding up to equal zero and you'd have to know that the zirconium was plus two plus two times n plus six times negative two must add up to equal zero, and on and on and on, you would also have found out that n equals positive five, and that would have given you all the information you needed. Um, so either one of these, but the best way to do it is look at just the nitrate, figure it out based on algebraically, and we already knew zirconium was two plus because this is, again, zirconium two nitrate written like this, two nitrate and that zirconium had to have a two plus charge to cancel out those two nitrates. So I hope this helps, bye.